Hey folks, it's Mike and with Michelle and Val and uh, our new friend here, Jason. We're down here at the uh, Cave River Valley in Indiana, close to Campbellsburg. And it's outside of, uh, it's a little west of Salem. And we're gonna do this trail. A couple buddies of ours told us about this trail. Uh, kudos to uh, Roger Turpin with Adventures with Roger. And uh, we checked out his video, so we thought we'd come out and check this river valley ourselves and check out the waterfall. So here we go. Here's uh, some information. Don't want to go into these caves unless you have the proper equipment and the proper permits and whatnot. You want to do things safely out here. A lot of caves over in, here in Indiana. And a lot of people don't know that there are. Check out all the colors. Still lit up a little bit. I think the peak time has already passed. But still looks good here. Here's some information, more information on the uh, Cave River Valley. How caves form, limestone forms. Got some bats. Pretty cool. Looks like there's a couple signs down here. Let's see what this says. Cave River Valley has long offered a glimpse into a mysterious world. Don't want to do that. Or at least I don't. <laughs> All right. Guess the cave is this way. Yep, there's more signage. Thought there'd be a lot more water flowing. Looks like this might be a well. There's a picnic table up here. What is it? I wonder what this is. Old well, maybe? Hmm. Early occupants of Cave River Valley provided shelter and water power for its inhabitants. They had a little mill here. You feel uh, the chill coming through here. Y'all watch your step. That's pretty cool. You gotta be careful. These rocks can be slippery and I don't want to drop this phone. We'll just weave up here. Okay. Yeah, there's a little cool breeze. That's pretty cool. Wow. 
It looks like it could be a little man-made dam up there. Oh, that's cool. See if I can get around and get up there. That cool air feels good. There's the cave right there. Let me try to find another way around. I'm gonna leave my stick here. Okay, I've made it to the top here. And right there's the cave. Let me see if I can get up here. Hmm. There's a shot of the cave. And they built that little dam there. I guess to draw the water for the mill. This is cool. Now to figure out how to get back down. <laughs> well, I think uh, somebody said, maybe it was Roger on his uh, YouTube video about this, that they used to do boat tours in there. And it looks, it doesn't look deep enough, but maybe back in the cave, uh, it gets a little deeper. And Jason, the fellow we met at the trailhead, he says it goes back in there maybe about a mile. Or that, that's what he was told by some of the geologists that came around here. We kind of figured that there's going to be more flow coming out of here for the waterfalls. I can feel those cool tents coming out of that cave, though. Well, I was thinking that there is going to be a little more, a uh, little more water flow, but it could be that since we haven't gotten rain in a while, or a good rain, that this flow could be down. But pretty nonetheless, and we're going to walk the trail down, uh, downstream, see if we see anything else. That's pretty cool. It's beautiful down here. And don't know how many people come down here to hike. So far, I'd highly recommend this. This is really peaceful out here. Okay, it looks like we gotta cross the creek. Just watch the leaves. See how stable these rocks are. They look like they're pretty stable. Yeah, nothing's shaky. Okay, let me go up here. There's a structure over here. Looks like another foundation here, some something. I think that was like the front door right there. Let's see. Oh, this is about Indiana bats. They look at the bat population here. How much Indiana has. From this spot here, it looks like the trail goes up. Probably takes us kind of above where the uh, cave is. So we got steps here, so. Take these up.
It's warming up. That's that man-made wall right there. The way they stack the uh, stones there. Y'all can see that. So there must have been something up there, part of the mill here. Ooh, wow. Yeah, let's see. Oh, look, down here. Wow. This is cool. Wonder how it connects to that first one. Ooh, there's a nice chill. Okay. So like I was saying, I guess you can go a little bit into the cave, but going any further without someone who knows what they're doing would not be recommended. Oh, look, there's another opening in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Just another opening. Watch your step. Oh, it goes further back in there. But look at that, another opening. Okay, I can see back there, there is a uh, gate of some sort. There, can you see that? So you can't go back in there all the way, which is probably a good idea. Isn't this cool? This is really cool. Feels good in here too. More ways than one. Yeah. Don't see any bats here. But they could probably they're probably further in the cave. Um little bird's nest right here. Be a nice place to have a nest if you're a bird. <laughs> okay. Wow, so that's pretty cool. There's a little ledge here, I guess. This looks like a a dam. You know what? I think the trail might go down the creek. So I think this is a uh, man-made dam here. Yeah, I'll let you all be the judge. So here is the cave, and I guess the water comes down this way. And then there's a dam here. This was probably a pool. And this looks like it might have been a spot for the uh, overflow. And then down the creek. There's another rock wall right there. Making sure this is the trail. Hopefully it is. Can't really tell.
Yeah, people have been carving stuff. Here's some more. I don't know what carving that is. Michelle just said, man, we are up high, but look on either side of this ridge that we're on. You could probably tell that a lot of leaves have dropped. I don't know if this was a little spur trail. Look at that. Oh, it says danger, keep off. I wonder how many people jump over that rock. Not gonna be me. This kind of gives you a view of the valley below. Don't jump. That could be a spring house or but they put a picnic table in there or somebody did. Who knows how old this is? It's early 1900s. Hey folks, that was an abbreviated uh, kind of little hike down here to the Cave River Valley here in Indiana. Uh, we checked out the two caves. They're pretty cool. Uh, this isn't really a very traveled park. So we kind of lost some of the trails. Uh, we'll definitely come back. The water flow wasn't really gushing like we thought it would be, but it's still, I mean, it's pretty quiet out here and it's a nice place to kind of just be out here in the nature by yourself. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'd highly recommend it. And kudos to Roger Turpin with Adventures with Roger for, uh, telling us about this place and uh, my friend Chris who's uh, that hiking guy he's on YouTube also check out his videos and we'll see you next time if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe we'll talk to you later Base Camp Bakayi see ya